In this video, I want to talk about the different treatment options for pulmonary arterial hypertension. So let's first think about what controls the tone in the pulmonary vasculature. Well, we have in the pulmonary vasculature several mediators that either mediate contraction or relaxation. And obviously, for pulmonary arterial hypertension, we might have more mediators that are triggering contraction that we have that are triggering a relaxation because pulmonary arterial hypertension is characterized by an imbalance of contractile and dilatory mediators. So let's first think about what are the different mediators. So well, there's definitely calcium. They act together with calmodulin to activate myosin light chain kinase and then in the end will lead to contraction. There's endothelin, which acts via a GQ coupled protein receptor, so there's also going to increase in calcium, which in the end also leads to contraction via the identical mechanism. And then we have several dilatory mediators that work via an increase in cyclic AMP or increase in cyclic GMP. And this is prostacycline, which works via a GS coupled receptor. And then we have nitric oxide, which activates soluble guanyl cyclase. Now, if we want to treat pulmonary arterial hypertension, we have to address this disbalance between contractile and dilatory mediators. And as I mentioned already in this previous video, that for pulmonary arterial hypertension, there might be too many contractile mediators that in the end increase the pulmonary vascular resistance. Now, what we can do for treatment options, we can either inhibit this contractile mediators or try to enhance this dilatory mediators. And that's exactly what we do. So how can we block calcium? Well, we can use calcium channel blockers. And you probably remember there are the dipins and the non-dipins. So the dipins are the ones that are more selective in the vasculature, like nifedipine, amlodipine. And these are the preferred agents. Now we can also block the endothelin receptor, and these are the endothelin receptor antagonists, like bosentan, and they're all in N10 for endothelin receptor antagonist. The other option is to enhance the dilatory mediators. And how can we do this? Well, we can use analogs of prostacycline. And all kinds of different prostaglandin analogs have prost in their name. And there's, for example, ipoprostenol that can be used to enhance this pathway via cyclic AMP. We can also use endogenous nitric oxide, or there's also a drug that is a soluble guanyl cyclase activator. This is a drug called riosigurat. And then there's definitely the option to prevent the breakdown of cyclic GMP with a PDE5 inhibitor. And these are all the famous aphids like sildenafil. So these are also used for the treatment of pulmonary hypertension. So not only for the treatment of erectile dysfunction, these exact same drugs are used for the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. This concludes the video on the different treatment options of pulmonary arterial hypertension.